I don't know why there is an unknown unavoidable infatuation or love or madness you can say towards this plant maybe this is very precious for me because after searching a lot for this plant in many nurseries I got it and the plant is costly even moreover twice it was about to die and somehow I survived the plant with lots of care under broad aspect there are six conditions for growing plants first the soil second moisture and humidity third sunlight fourth water fifth fertilizer and the last and the sixth one is the maintenance moisture humidity weather condition climate they are unmanageable for us so the other four factors have to be managed and organized in such a way that the plant find its best conditions from within when a winter perennial plant thrives in the monsoon to summer time and when a monsoon plant thrives in the winter that is in other words if we can say that if a plant uh preferably the perennial plants if they survive in all the six seasons of the year then it is a great challenge for the gardener however saving plants for the next year is a big challenge for us ficus triangularis is appreciated for its variegations on the leaves where each leaf is unlike for growing any sort of plant except succulents the basic need for all plants are the same the soil should be porous the sunlight requirement and watering of the plant sometimes uh, the root rot happens in some of the plants and you have to know those plants where root rot occurs very frequently the clay of the pot becomes soft due to heavy rain often i color my pots but they don't work and this is common in my garden so let's talk about the soil requirement of ficus triangularis i have used common garden soil with cow dung compost sand vermicompost leaf compost i always use in each of my plants and i have used neem extract do not keep the plant under direct sunlight the plant should be kept under semi shade but where there is good bright light under bright light the plant will show its uh, good foliage and very good variegations in each of its leaves each plant have their definite characteristics and definite problems as in hibiscus there is bud fall Portulaca milibug attack, Adenium root rot. So, as in Ficus triangularis, there is a big problem that leaves often shed off from the plant, and this is a very much slow-growing plant compared to other plants. Leaves had shed down during the winter time, but uh, gradually leaves appeared in the month of February. and there were some small little fruit like structure and i was about to shoot but i was so busy that time uh, with my job that i couldn't uh, shoot and i couldn't show you friends next time if uh, fruits arise then i will surely show you if you have leaf fall problem during the growing time then you can trim those stems because cutting off stems help in cell division and promotes growth You can even spray some foliage spray that is available in the market to be honest friends I have never applied Leaves will fall off once every year and that is natural which happen in every plant but the time may vary from region to region Sometimes neem oil mixed with soap water do not work on pest attack then we can use other insecticides but here in triangularis pest attack is seldom Okay friends until i can gather more knowledge on this plant we'll be back again with ficus triangularis and subscribe and click the bell button bye bye